Hi and welcome to Love Doing Yoga on this Wednesday evening. A little bit of a chill in the air now, I think. I uh, having know. had such a um, warm October and November to date. Um, nice practice today, uh, a lot of it lying on the mat. So uh, let us begin in that position. So making your way down onto your mat with your knees bent and your feet about hip width apart. And just let yourself move into the present moment. Remembering throughout your practice to listen to your body and only do what feels right for you today. And as you move into the present, just let go of everything that's going on in your life. Letting go the past and concerns for the future. And just being in the present. And become aware of your shoulder blades and just feel them fully connect with the mat. Turn the palms upwards to help the shoulder blades lie a little flatter. And then let your attention go to your breath. As you inhale through your nose, into your belly, pause, and then exhale. Taking two more breaths here, having that exhale um, a good bit longer than your inhale. And then from here, lifting the feet up off the mat, open the knees out, bringing the hands in between the knees, hold on to the outside edge of your feet if you can. And then just let those feet look up at the ceiling. So a nice happy baby pose. And in this pose, just start off just gently moving the legs encouraging those knees to go a little deeper, a little nearer to the floor, feeling a little bit of a stretch on the inside of your thighs. And then when you're ready, coming to stillness and taking three breaths here. And then once again, moving the legs around and just playing with it a little bit, just to get those legs going. Getting them moving. And then when you're ready, bring them to stillness and just hug those shins into the chest. And let the feet come down onto the back, stretching the left leg out long. With the right leg, just draw that right knee over to the left. 
holding it with your hand as close to or on the mat or floor if you can adjust the upper body open out the right arm and just turn the gaze to look at that right hand And then coming back to center, taking that to the other side. So let the right leg come out long as you bend that left knee, crossing it over onto the mat on the right side, holding it with your right hand and turning the gaze to the left. And then when you're ready, coming back to the center. And from here, raising the legs up, let the soles of the feet look at the ceiling. Engaging the core as you exhale, just allowing those legs to hover or float in the air. One more breath here. Staying with your breath the whole time, bending your knees. Let the feet come down onto the mat as we draw up into a bridge pose. And once again, once you're in the pose, let that attention go to the breath as we take three breaths here, keeping the hips up nice and high, engaging the core. And then slowly lowering the body down onto the mat. Let the soles of the feet come together and the knees just fall apart. One more breath here. And then bringing those knees together once again, raising the feet up, having the toes or the, the soles of the feet looking at the mat, raise the arms up as well. And we're going to lower the left leg and uh, the left leg down towards the mat, the right arm behind you. And just let that left leg hover before it reaches the mat and draw the leg and arm back to the starting position as we take that on the opposite side. So right leg comes down towards the mat, left arm comes out behind you and drawing it back. And again, left leg, right arm and drawing it up and right leg left arm bringing it up three more times on each side 
Really nice core work this is. And it also requires a certain amount of coordination. Particularly in keeping, well for me, <laughs> in keeping the uh, arm that's not meant to be moving still. And finally the right leg. I'm bringing it back, hug the knees into the chest, take a little movement here. And then when you're ready, let the feet come down, just rolling over onto your belly. And let the arms come out long for a nice full body stretch, forehead on the mat. One more breath here. And sliding those hands down beside you so they're either side of your chest, your elbows pointing towards the back of the mat, and drawing the forehead and chest away from the mat, push on up through the hands into a nice. Cobra, nice back bend. Taking a breath here. And lowering yourself down onto the mat. And once again, drawing up into your Cobra for a breath. Feeling the whole front of the body stretch. And lowering down. And a final time, drawing up. Nice bend of the back, lovely open front of the body. And then from here, pushing on up onto all fours, Get those hips over the knees and we're going to come into our puppy dog pose. So the feet straight out behind you. As you lower onto your forearms, let the forehead come onto the mat and then stretch those arms out. Feeling that length in the spine. That lovely openness in your back. Two more breaths here. And then pushing back into a wide child's pose. So the knees out to either side of the mat, the feet together. And you can either put one fist on top of the other or stretch the arms out. Whichever you prefer. One more breath here. And then let's make our way up onto all fours, stepping the hands out in front a little bit in front of your shoulders, curling the toes. We're going to make our way up into our downward dog, nice and slowly and pedaling your way into it. So just slowly stretching the legs, taking your time. There's no rush, just allow those legs to open out, those muscles to extend and stretch until you're ready to come to your point of stillness. Finding that same feeling 
and the length of your back as you had in your puppy dog pose. Gaze towards the back of the mat. And let's take three breaths here. And walking the hands up, or the feet up to meet the hands, bend the knees and come up to stand at the top of your mat. Good, and as we're standing here, feet hip width apart, checking in with them, that they're pointing forward. Equal weight on both feet, ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Standing up nice and tall, feeling that space in the spine. And let's do a couple of sun salutes to really get the body stretched out, supple, mobile, moving. Put arms together, raise the gaze, take a breath. And sweeping forward into your forward fold for a breath. Bending your knees as much as you need to in this forward fold. And then drawing up to a halfway lift. If you find your spine tends to be a little round, bring your hands onto your hips. Let the elbows just look towards each other to help you keep that straightness in the spine. And forward fold. Let's step the right leg back to come into our low lunge, opening out that foot. Knee over ankle as you rise up to your low lunge. Gaze to the front, take a breath. And then raising the gaze for a breath. Moving from here into your plank. We're gonna stay in our plank for three breaths. So getting yourself into the right position shoulders over wrists engaging that core and then taking three breaths nice lightness in the elbows And then coming down on your knees and feet, chest, and then belly. And from here into our little baby cobra. So all of the effort is coming from your back muscles and your core. And then let the hands get involved as you push yourself on up through your tabletop into your downward dog. And we're going to stay in downward dog for three breaths. Then stretching that right leg out behind you. Step it through to come into your low lunge, raising the arms up, making sure they're going up past your ears. Gaze in front, take a breath. And then raising the gaze for a breath. And from here, let's step up into a forward fold. And bend the knees, coming all the way up to stand, palms together, raise the gaze, take a breath. Forward fold. Remembering with each exhale to just see, can you deepen the pose a little bit more? 
and halfway lift. Forward fold again. Let's step this left leg back as far back as you can get it. So you start to really challenge yourself, stretching out that quad as you rise up, raising the arms past the ears, taking a breath here. And then raising the gaze. through once again to our plank for three breaths. And then lowering down on the knees and feet, chest and belly. So then lift up into your little back bend and on through Cobra to your downward dog. Three breaths here again. And stretching that left leg out behind you. Step it through. Again, extending this as much as you can to get that nice stretch of the quad rising up. And then raising the gaze. And bring the hands down either side of the foot to step up into your low lunge, taking three, or sorry, your forward fold, taking three breaths here. With each breath, just encouraging that fold to go a little bit deeper. And then bend the knees, rising all the way up to stand. Bring the hands together and down into prayer at the chest. Releasing the shoulders, releasing the jaw, softening the body, engaging the core. Taking a breath here. And then forward fold, hinging at your hips as you come down towards the mat, hands onto the mat, making your way down onto uh, tabletop. And from here, coming back to lie on your mat with your knees bent. Once again, raising the feet up, let's come back into our um, happy baby pose. So holding on to the outside of the feet and seeing how that pose is now after your work. Is it a little easier? Does your body feel a little freer? Two more breaths here. And then hugging those knees into the chest, just taking a little bit of movement.
coming to stillness, let the feet come down onto the mat and the legs stretch out long. Feet flopping out to the side as your hands come down. Arms beside you, palms facing up to the ceiling. And just allow the body now to relax and release. Letting go your feet and your legs. Letting go your glutes and your pelvis. Letting go the whole back of your body. Letting go the whole front of your body. Letting go your shoulder blades and shoulders. Your chest and armpits. Letting go your arms and your hands. Your head, your face, your jaw and chin. The whole of your body, just let it go. Taking some time for gratitude. Gratitude for all that's working in your life today. And then let your attention go to your breath as you observe yourself breathing in through your nose filling your belly and exhaling through your nose. Keeping your attention on your breath. If your attention wanders, just gently draw it back to your breath. 